The Location Services Control provides location and time information based on the Global Positioning System, or GPS, of mobile devices. The control provides latitude, longitude, altitude, accuracy, and various other properties based on available GPS services on your device. You can review the Location Services Control help page at help.k2.com for more information on these and other supported properties. Be sure to review the Considerations section as well for this control. In this how-to video, we will look at how to implement the Location Services Control on a smart form and use current location information on the form. This is helpful in many business scenarios that require location services. For example, maybe you have a service request tracking system that needs to send current location information to a map service that then provides driving directions to a technician going from one service call to the next. To save some time, I'm going to assume that you have knowledge of K2 smart forms, smart objects, and the pieces that make up the basics for creating them. I already have a view set up with a button control, the content control for showing a map view, and some labels for displaying data on the design canvas. I will use these with the location services control to show current GPS location information from a mobile device. With K2 Designer open, we can get moving by dragging the location services control over from the toolbox tab and drop it on the view. You'll find it under the information grouping of controls down lower in the menu. I'll drop it in the section near the top. Note, this control is not visible at runtime, but it will begin collecting GPS data after you execute a rule to run the start watching method of the control. Let's set that rule up next. Over on the Rules tab, as I mentioned, the first thing we need to set up is a rule to start looking at the location data on the device. I'm going to do this when the view initializes in this example. For the event, search for when the view executes a method, select the initialize method for the configuration. Next, I'll flip to the Actions tab and look for Execute a Controls method. Select the Location Services control, then set the Select Method option to Start Watching. The control at this point will watch the GPS receiver on your device continuously while the device moves until the Stop Watching method is executed. There's nothing left to configure for this rule, so I'll close this window. Next, we can add a rule to get location data from that control when the Get Location button is clicked on the screen. I'll add another new rule. And for event, I'll look for when a control on the view raises an event. We can select the Get Location button for this one and leave it on the default clicked event. Let's move on to add some actions under this event. I'll select the Transfer Data action first. This is because I have two data labels on the view, one to display latitude and the other to display longitude. I'll configure this action. From here, I'll open the Location Services Control Group over on the right under the Controls folder for the view. Then dig into the Location Group. Notice that we have access to various properties from the device's GPS available to us here. Again, depending on your device, some of these options may not be available, so review help.k2.com for this control for more information. I'll drag the Latitude setting over to the Latitude data label on the left. I'll do the same for longitude now. Then I can close the window since that's all I'm going to do here. The last thing I'll demonstrate is showing a map with current location on it in the content control for this view. To do that, let's now add an action to set a controls properties. I'll select the content control and configure it with a link to Google's Embed Mapping Service API. Note, when you use a mapping service with a content control, you may need to provide an API key for access. Not all mapping services will work the same, so you will need to determine the best option for your own business needs. I'll paste in the link, and then to tell Google my current location, I can actually set the latitude and longitude setting for the origin parameter for their service. I'll do that now by opening up the location services control down to the Location Group of Properties. 
Then drag the latitude placeholder over to the correct spot in the URL for origin and longitude as well. Take notice, I also hard-coded a city and state here for destination. You may have a need to pull this data in from an application data source dynamically. You can plug that in here if necessary and then have the mapping service show possible routes to the destination within your K2 smart form. This is pretty much all I want to do for this view, so I'll close out the rules editing windows. Click Finish to go back to the K2 Designer category view. I'll check in my changes so they are available to my users. Then there is one last thing we can do to make this available to the K2 mobile app. I already have a form created for this view, so I'm assuming you know how to generate forms from views in K2 Designer. I'll select the Route Options form in the Forms category, check out the form for editing, then select the Edit option. I need to select anywhere outside of the view area on the design canvas, then I can open the Advanced Properties group for the form over on the right side of the page, and put a check in the Application Form checkbox. That will do it, so I'll finish up editing, and check in the form, at this point, it's ready and available for use now in the K2 mobile app. I'll jump over to a mobile device now to demonstrate. With the K2 mobile app open, from the All Task Workspace inbox, you can open the menu in the upper left of the window, then select the Forms option. This K2 mobile app is pointing to the cloud instance we've been working with, so because I set the form to be an application form, it is visible in the Forms area of the mobile app. I'll go into the Location folder and open the Route Options form. Notice the Latitude and Longitude labels are here. If I click on the Get Location button, the Smart Form Location Control is already watching the GPS on the device, and it can populate the Latitude and Longitude data labels with location data, and a map is presented based on current location from the device. For more information on the Location Services Control, you can visit help.k2.com.